Hello everyone, this is Easy Natural English with Liam. And if you are a regular listener, then you will know that、uh, me and my wife,、uh, we will be moving、uh, apartments soon. So at the moment, we are staying with my mother in law, that's、uh, my wife's mum, and soon we're going to be moving into our own apartment. So at the moment, we need to buy lots of Things for the whole house, but particularly the kitchen. So, I thought this would be a good time to talk to you about some kitchen vocabulary because perhaps you know things like refrigerator, but perhaps you don't know、um, the more natural way to say something like that, or what we call these little things like the top of the oven. So, yeah, today I'm going to. Talk a bit about us、um, preparing our new kitchen while I introduce some kitchen vocabulary for you. So, yeah, keep listening. As always, keep listening, keep listening. Your English will get better. So, yeah, in, our, in, in this house, so in my mother in law's house, we have an oven. It's like a proper American style or European style oven. Lots of space、uh, to cook things inside. You can make、uh, roast vegetables, or you can roast meat, or you can bake cakes or bake bread.、Um, so, yeah, things cooked in the oven, we say bake or roast. And roast is for vegetables and meat, but things like bread and cakes and biscuits, we say bake in the oven.、Um, yeah, in the new place, we won't have one of these. So, if you haven't spent much time in Asia, then maybe you don't know that many kitchens in Asia do not have an oven like this. So, many kitchens in Asia only have、uh, a stove top or a stove. So,、um, in Japan, it's usually like a unit like this and quite often powered by gas. This is an electric one.、Um, and then you have Maybe only two hobs. So, a hob is like the hot part on top of the stove. So, you might have one or two.、Uh, sometimes you have four. This one has five. So, you can cook five things at the same time.、Um, so, in our new apartment, we will probably just have a small stove with two hobs.、Um, Yeah, or to sometimes people say like hot plate, but that's usually more for the electric ones.、Um, so, yeah, we won't be able to bake things or roast things like this in a big oven, which would be nice. I really like cooking things in the oven, but yeah, it's quite rare in Japan to,、uh, to have one of these. So, if we do really want to bake something, I guess we can just come and visit my mother in law and we can make something here. A lot of kitchens in Japan, if they do have an oven, it's usually something like this. So, this is like a microwave.、Um, but、uh, yeah, here in Japan, they have these things that are like a microwave slash kind of oven. But they really don't work the same as a proper big oven、uh, like this one.、Um, You know, these ovens, they're much bigger, they can control the heat much better. And something like if I want to make roast potatoes, for example, which is an important food for me as a British person, we eat a lot of roast potatoes.、Um, so if I want to make roast potatoes, this oven will make roast potatoes in 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes maximum, and they'll be soft on the inside. And they'll be nice and crispy on the outside. But these kinds of like plug in oven, this kind of small apartment sized oven,、um, they take like we used to have one in, in when we lived in Tokyo, we had one. It was supposed to be a good one and it would take more like one hour to cook potatoes, sometimes longer. So by the time They were finished, they would just be dry and they weren't very crispy. Yeah, and they just weren't very good. So, there's definitely a big difference between these kind of things and, and a real proper oven. So, if you are one of my、uh, Japanese listeners or someone else in Asia, 
and yeah you've only used one of these if you have space for like a proper big oven like this i really recommend it because it makes a big difference um you know you can roast a whole chicken or something in here you definitely can't do that with one of these kind of ovens at least not with the same result so for our new place we've got uh, an air fryer because we won't have an oven so if we want to make something like potatoes or yeah cook some vegetables um yeah we have this air fryer which is a kind of machine where you put just a little bit of oil and it's supposed to give you results like it's been fried people say it's kind of somewhere between like an oven and a kind of deep fat fryer but uh, yeah the taste is kind of similar to that of an oven so we're gonna try that and hopefully it has good results because yeah like I said when we use this kind of thing for doing potatoes and vegetables they didn't come out very well so we're hoping that this air fryer has better results so who knows we'll we'll see I'll let you know later how that goes um, so yeah something else that we uh, definitely need to buy is a rice cooker so very important in Japan and in uh, yeah, Asia and in other countries too um, need to get a rice cooker so uh, rice cooker is very easy to use perhaps you've used one before you just wash your rice put it in there add the water turn it on leave it and you get very good results so it's a little different from when you cook rice in a pot if you cook rice in a pot you can get good results but I think yeah using a rice cooker is much easier um, yeah also things like this we're going to need to prepare for the new apartment we need to get pots and also frying pan gonna need to get a frying pan um, personally I like to spend money on things like this you know you can get like um, you can get cheaper options for things like frying pans and pots and other cooking things but personally I think it's better to spend a bit of money and get something that's going to be better quality and it's going to last longer um, yeah and it's just going to be easier to cook with because in the past when I was moving apartment quite a lot you know I was moving to different countries or moving apartments um, I would always buy a cheap one because um, I think oh, I'm only going to live here for a short time so I'll just buy like a cheap frying pan because I'm only going to use it for a few months or something but yeah I, they're really not good when you buy a cheap frying pan things stick to it and um, you know the coating so coating is like the layer that you have on top of the frying pan that starts to come off and yeah and they often bend as well and it's you know it's just really not good so yeah for the next place I want to get some good quality um, pots pans and also knives because that makes a really big difference when you're trying to cut fruits and vegetables and things that are kind of a bit harder make such a big difference to have some good quality knives so yeah I want to get some sort of stuff like that um, something else that we're going to need to buy that's going to be a bit more expensive is a refrigerator so at the beginning I said refrigerator and then I said there is a word that we use instead so actually you'll probably notice that native speakers we don't really say refrigerator because it's a very long word we usually just say fridge so I'd usually just say put it in the fridge or yeah what's in the fridge so fridge much easier to say I know for some people <laughs> learning the English word refrigerator you think what this word is very hard to pronounce it's very long but you don't need to say it because native speakers usually don't we just say fridge yeah that's the fridge and a bit at the bottom where you put your ice cream or hopefully some healthier food like some frozen vegetables this is the freezer so it's a freezer because it freezes things <laughs> very simple yeah so freezer and fridge and you can also refer to the whole thing as just a fridge as well the whole machine I mean technically it's a fridge and a freezer 
But you know, if I wanted to move this whole machine, I would probably just say, let's move the fridge, even though, yeah, there is a freezer too, but you don't, you don't need to say fridge and freezer every time. Um, something we don't need to buy because I've got it already is a kettle. <laughs> so this is my kettle. Um, my mother-in-law has her, a different kettle. This is my kettle. So I'll be taking this to the new apartment. As you can see, this kettle is particularly made for making coffee because if you're a regular listener of Easy Natural English, you'll know that I really like coffee. So I use this when I'm making drip coffee or when I'm doing a pour over with something like this. This is the, um, oh, it's wet. <laughs> this is um, a Japanese brand actually called uh, Hario or Hario. And this is a V60 coffee filter, which I'm a big fan of, very easy to use. You just have to get the um, filter papers like this. This is the V60 filter paper, which is like the cone shaped one. And yeah, I like to make fresh coffee every day. I have a coffee mill here for grinding, grinding coffee beans in the morning. And then I can make a nice drip coffee with that. So for me, that's like the most essential item in the kitchen because yeah, I can't, I don't want to start my day until I've had a cup of coffee. So in the new apartment, these will be the first things that I make sure are in the apartment and ready to go because yeah in the morning i'll want to wake uh, wake up and make a nice cup of coffee very important um yeah other things we need to prepare for the kitchen like i said we need to get pots pans we need to get big things like a fridge yeah we need to get a stove so not an oven but a stove we're just going to get the small thing that you can cook with um yeah probably a microwave probably not the oven because we're going to try and use the air fryer instead and then we're going to get not lots of little things that perhaps you don't know the words for in english yet like for example this does anyone know what this this is called this is a spatula so yeah we're going to need lots of little things like this like spatulas uh ladle for soup all these kind of small things. Uh, also one of these, do you know what this is called? This is a grater. So it's for grating vegetables, grating cheese. I guess the main function is grating cheese, but personally I grate, I grate vegetables more often than I grate cheese. Usually grate, grate carrots or beetroots or things like that to make salads with, or to make, yeah, more healthy foods, <laughs> cheese. Not very healthy if we eat it all the time, but of course it is delicious. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say about kitchens. I hope I didn't forget any very important vocabulary. Um, if you can think of any important kitchen words that I didn't mention, please write them in the comments uh, below. Um, thank you all very much for listening today. Don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube and follow the and review the podcast. Everybody tell your friends to listen and get their English um, nice and natural. And I will see you all back here next time.